Hi everyone, this is Mehul Mehta and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So a lot of students are confused whether sh should they go to abroad for doing their higher study for their masters or for their bachelors. So this video is for you if in case you are someone who's planning out to come outside. I just want to talk about struggles which are faced by international student. So I'm in United States for more than four years and I just want to share my story how I felt up, so, up till and uh, I just want to share you know what are the upsides and the downsides so, so the very first thing is when you come to united states or any country right i mean let's say you are pursuing an education so there's a lot of academic pressure so when i came in i was pursuing my masters in quantitative finance in united states so the thing is the academic because you have to you pay a lot of money to the pursuing so my masters was close to sixty thousand dollars and sixty thousand dollars it's it's quite a money right when you are when you are putting it i mean close to how much uh 48 50 60 lakhs right i mean if you adjust your if you also include your living expense that makes like 60 lakhs and of course that's a good investment in just 18 months so you have a lot of pressure financial pressure on yourself on top of it you have a academic pressure see what happens is you know because you are competing right i mean when you come for masters i mean a lot of you have a lot of indian students right as your batchmates so <laughs> they i mean the way i mean everyone competes with each other and it becomes a very competitive environment and you know in total it's a very high academic pressure environment because you have a lot of projects you have quizzes you have exams so in total you know because of all the and plus uh, our different thing is see in india if you see i mean teachers used to do hand holding or they used to give you notes right for everything they'll give you notes and they'll ask you to write notes but when you come to united states it's not the same i mean they just you know discuss so i remember in one of the in my very first semester so the teacher was discussing this uh, discussing a topic and i was asking my indian friend will he not give will he not give us notes because that culture is not there in us you know they just like to discuss the topic they'll share their experience about that topic but they'll not give you notes so it's up to you if you have to write notes or not but you know how we it used to happen back in india giving notes that's actually not a culture in us so that is a very big educational difference what i see in india versus us because professors here they used to say hey you know just come prepared with this topic and we'll discuss and you are like dude i've paid 60 lakhs i mean how can we just discuss you need to give me notes but again understand this is not um, the kind of environment that you will see here definitely there are certain professors who you know i mean they will teach you and they'll solve mathematical questions if it's a mathematical course right but when i'm when i'm just telling you about certain financial concepts or financial concepts which are theoretical in nature right i mean so i mean that's what i feel overall i mean huge culture huge academic uh, educational shift i would say so that is first thing academic pressure is second i mean you have to have so in india you have a scale of 10 right so we get a gp on a scale of 10 when you come to us the scale becomes four so you have a scale of four so you know everyone is like oh you should aim more than 3.5 more than, uh, more than 3.8 and you know all this uh, all this professor themselves say you should aim good to crack good you know good companies so you have this in mind that you know i need to score good i need to score good but actually in industry i feel no one looks at G uh, score definitely there are certain firms if you are aiming from top top one percent firms definitely they might look but in general no one looks at your gpa everyone looks at the kind of knowledge that you bring on the table so that is something i mean that's just a advice so so I, I i agree that academic pressure is something and financial pressure pressure is something that most of the international students see on top of it you always feel homesick and why is that you see uh, i'll share my journey i mean i was uh, i was out so after 12th i i went to vit university vellore well there i did my engineering for 4 years and then i was working for 3 years so i was away from my family for almost 7 years so you know but when you come to us or when you go to any abroad country like let's say us itself i mean i was not knowing anyone right when i came here so it becomes such a challenge i mean your homesickness feel really intimidating because i mean i used to miss my family of course i had friends i'm not denying that i i had friends i came with my friends but um, 
uh, the need of family can only be fulfilled by family no one else can fulfill that need so definitely uh, i truly agree that homesickness is something that you will always feel throughout your journey even right now i'm <laughs> i have a full time job and still every day i miss my family so it is something you know because you, you are so far away when i was back in india whenever i used to feel that i'm missing my family i used to go you know i was i was in bangalore and i, I used to fly from bangalore to jodhpur so my uh, my the place i live is jodhpur so i just used to fly there so you know i never felt that homesickness or you know something like that but when you come out of the country you definitely feel that because i cannot go to india just like that you know i have visa restriction uh, i'm working full time so i need to take permission from my bosses uh, and then go it's not like oh i have decided and let me go directly so there there are few things i cannot work from home so in india i used to work from home a lot of time but here i cannot work from home so that again becomes a challenge um i mean work from home so work from home is allowed but work from another country is something you have to take permission so that is something you always struggle to do so homesickness is something that you will always face being an international student four challenges uh, the job market lot of times you will feel that you are applying you know i know i have talked to i have spoken with students they have done 1000 plus application and still not gotten any internship any full time offers so because the compete because the job market right now it's such that i mean it's not really very rewarding but of course uh, i do see the trend of job market being uh, you know improving day by day but again i mean if you have already come to us and let's say if you are pursuing computer science people who have graduated with computer science degrees you know they have not gotten job for so long and the job market is so competitive that as soon as you see one opening you'll see uh, you know hundreds of application within few minutes so that's how the job market becomes so competitive so getting a job in such a market becomes more challenging because you first you are a international student second uh, you you have so many bunch of people around you who are just aiming for that job so overall i feel and also in us we do not have any culture like if you if you are if you are studying in india and if you have already done your bachelor's uh, you might be sure you might be knowing this that different companies they come to your campus to pick you up right but in us companies do not come to your campus you only have to apply to all different uh, companies so no one will be coming uh, to you know no one will be coming to your university to give you a job offer or there is nothing so such sort of arrangement in us and that's what makes the the job market really tricky because you know at least when you were in india when you when i was in bachelors i knew i will get a placement that was for sure i had this in mind that i will get a placement but the question that i had in mind was which placement will i get is it a dream offer super dream offer base offer that was the confusion here the confusion is whether will i get the job or not so the so the the mental switch is very different when you come to us right because companies are not hiring uh, on top of it uh job market again, again becomes a challenge so that is something and the last uh, struggle that most of the student feel is visa issue i mean uh, there are so many times that even uh, i mean because you are an you are on a student visa there are so many companies that do not sponsor uh, st sponsor uh, student i mean they do not sponsor visas uh, so if you are a student if you are on a student visa it might happen lot of time that you might not get a job because the company is not sponsoring so again that also become a challenge because we all are international student we definitely need a working visa see so the thing is you can definitely work in the us for if if your degree is stem so you can work in the us for almost 3 years after you graduate but after those three after the three year after the three year window you need a h1b to work so what happens is the company you when you are in on the student visa for the first three years the company will file h1b every year so the when the company file h1b every year you you know you might have heard the name lottery so that is something that you need to get a lottery picked that is basically when someone someone says that oh my lottery got picked that basically means that his h1b got picked so now after his h1b got picked he can, after the three year window he can again work for next six years so that is what it means by oh i need to get my name in the lottery but if in case you do not have you do not got a, you do not you did not get 
the student uh, the h one b visa then you have to uh, you have to uh, uh, see other avenues either you can go for another masters or you can ask your team to switch to another country or something like that other avenues you need to explore so those are certain challenges and that i feel i have also faced uh, during my uh, journey to united states and that is something like most of the international student face but let me talk about the reward i mean i know i've blabbered a lot about uh, what are the downside of coming to uh, coming to any beat any international country right and that's like a downside for most of them but let's talk about the upside right so the first thing that i would say is when you come to us if you see uh, the competition wise because i was saying you know you have a lot of competition but again the competition is really less as compared to competition in india why is that the case because number of the amount of population really plays an important role see in india you'll see i mean the population is so big that if even if someone sees one opening you'll see thousands of application for that opening right people thousands of people filing uh, application for that opening but in us that thousand becomes 100 because uh, approx approximately i would say uh, i mean the us population is one one third to what population in india is so that's why i mean uh, that's why you see the i mean career perspective in us is much much better why because cracking a job in india versus cracking a job in us i would say us is much better i mean it's i'm not saying it's easy i'm not saying it's easy but what i'm saying is it's much better in us here so that is something that you should uh, always remind yourself that you know of course uh, from a career perspective coming to usa will be great i myself i feel like if i have, I have so right now i've become a manager recently uh, in my current job but i feel if i was in india i might have not become a manager i will i might be still at a lower position why because he I'm, I'm the same person i'm the same person even in india also right i would be still at a lower position but here people really value the skill set in india what they really look at is the number of years you have worked but here the what they look at is the num the amount of knowledge you bring in on the table so that is something i mean i would always you know say that if you are looking from a career perspective you will see much more better career in usa versus in uh, india so that is one thing second thing is good salary i genuinely feel that the amount of salary that you get in united states it's nowhere comparable to what you get in india and i always see this comparison that oh you know 100000 dollar in us is equal to 25 lakh rupees in india dude that is not at all the case and don't even think that those amounts are equal because i remember like with my first salary i was i mean i'll tell you i'll give you an analogy with 100000 dollar you can save 30000 dollar so $13,000 is equal to the amount of salary that you're earning in India. And when you say 25 lakhs, it is not 25 lakhs. That is not the because you have taxes and all in both the countries. So that is not 25 lakhs you get in hand. So it's so for the, for the very first thing, those are not at all the same. The amount of savings that you do in this in countries or in any country, be it USA or any outside country, it's much more higher than the amount of savings that you will do in India. I still remember if I would be doing a job in India versus a job in US. So how much I save in US that will be close to two, three years of my hard work in India. So so this is just an analogy for my for the domain that I work in. But again, salary is something that these people, you know, if, they, if you're working really hard, if you're bringing the talent, if you're able to do make a difference in the company, definitely I can assure you that money is something that you will always get. So good salary is something that, uh, you know, US really gives you if in case you are working hard for them. Third thing is work life balance. I cannot, uh, I cannot tell you guys. I mean, uh, so I, I used to work in consulting. The, the name was PwC. So I was working for PwC for almost close to 2.5, three years, three years, I would say, yeah, close to three years. I cannot, I cannot say, I mean, I was working like a, like a donkey there. I was working for almost 12, 14 hours a day. And I, I still remember I, I used to I used to go around 10 a.m. in the morning. I used to come back by 12, uh, night 12. I used to come back by 2. Even there were days when I've come back at 4 a.m. in the morning. So I would say that such a culture is really toxic. Uh, I know, you know, people in uh, at least managers in USA or partners in USA. Uh, sorry, 
my bad so i know that managers or partners in india they really promote that culture oh you should work very hard this is the start of your career you should give all in dude if you give all in when will you study when will you upskill yourself so the good part of being in usa is you have to work for a given amount of hours i, I at least all my all my uh, colleagues they come sharp at 7:30 they leave sharp at 4:35 and that is something that i guess india should learn of course it is not that uh, everyone should follow but you know like i know like because i also come around the same time and i leave around the same time i have all my remaining day left just to do some of the other activity so i upskill myself i do courses i do so many stuff after coming from office so that is something that you know i feel when if i would have been in india i would have i could have never done that i i i still speak to a lot of students in india and uh, who are working professionals okay sorry not students but working professionals in india and they are like bhai time hi kaam milta hai kuch karne ka and i i totally get that i mean dude i was also working in india almost 3 years and i know what's the work life balance there's no work life balance it's all work there's no life so i'm sorry to say that but again see it's not that i've come to usa and i'm telling something against india no i love my country but this is something that you know in we, we as people will have to improve right and uh, definitely learn from other countries like uh, usa why people are so productive because they continuously upskill themselves with some or the other technology be it technology be it certain subjects they will always upskill themselves so i've seen you know my my prof, my uh, colleagues they do something or the other they focus so much on fitness dude you know we have this so i at least i had this image in my mind americans are you know really you know they, they are i mean really big and you know they i mean they eat a lot of burgers and you know they are dude i've seen so fit americans all all throughout where I, so i've been to north carolina i've been to alabama i've been to denver and so many other uh, i mean so many other states and cities i see so much so many fit people so because why they are fit is because they can also focus on their physical health up, uh, after their job so don't think that you know oh the, uh, these people are just consuming a lot of food and they are not fit dude i cannot tell you they are so fit i mean they are fitness of the fit so and they focus on their skill set they focus on their family dude this is something that i have never realized in india i mean people here focus so much on their family i mean my my the, so in my previous job my manager said that uh, he'll, he he cannot come to the office he'll work from home because her daughter uh, her daughter he has to take care of her daughter i mean if if I, i don't know but people in india they would never relate to this i mean i, I mean i don't know i mean guys i mean really i'm i'm just telling you i mean work life balance perspective in us is crazy i mean people work a lot and then make sure they maintain their life a lot so and also focus on family so if you're someone if you're a international student or if you are planning to become an international student i can assure you once you get in a job you'll have a great work life balance as compared to india uh last piece that i want to cover is exposure that you get uh, i've been working with a uh, great number uh, great uh, great colleagues i would say best of best traders risk managers other you know business stakeholders economist i have worked with all of them and the amount of knowledge that they carry carry and the amount of exposure that they have so in my previous job i was talking to this economist so he have been all over all over different countries and he is so talented he was telling me how this country can affect this country can affect this country and so and how the whole uh, chain works and i was so amazed with that one person i was like crazy man i mean so see the thing is i mean when you talk see exposure becomes high when you talk to all people from different countries so i met a chinese guy and you know we have this image i mean do chinese work so hard i mean i'm telling you i've never met anyone so i mean he this person works so hard then you know uh, i mean i cannot just tell you i mean chinese are so hard working same as indians i mean we also work very hard right but this guy also works very hard so that's why you get a good exposure you get you know uh, so i i i like i like to talk about different technology different quantitative finance concept and i like to understand what others all uh, others think and every time i speak to some other uh, to you know someone i get so amazed with the kind of knowledge that they have so so point i'm trying to say is the exposure that you get 
in in countries like USA or any other country that the exposure will be really high as compared to sitting in India. So in total, uh, I would say that coming to US, um, of course, uh, you'll have to face a lot of struggle. Uh, there's academic pressure, finance pre financial pressure. You have visa issues. Um, you know, you feel homesick. But in the end of the day, I feel like you get a good career out of you know the whole journey. Your career is good. You get good money. You have a great work life balance. Um, I mean, you you get a good exposure. So I would definitely recommend if you if you are planning to come to USA, I would definitely recommend that yes, you should definitely come on. One thing that I would highly suggest is see people. And when they when you come here please make sure you work really hard i see people you know they go into different activities and they go into a very wrong direction you know people taking drugs and these i'm talking about indian students not any other student so i would say when you come here don't just you know take don't think oh i'm i'm independent i'm free you know i can do anything don't have that mindset because see, it will eventually you will eventually have to pay the price whatever you do right if you study you will pay the i mean if you study well if you work hard if you uh, do hard work you'll definitely get a good career out of it but if you're just party 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 eventually you'll not get a job and you'll kick out you'll you'll be kicked out of the country so choice is yours but again i will say you know at least for me it was a great decision that i made uh, four years uh, before i was in this dilemma whether to come or not i still remember sitting at airport i mean i was i was so confused i was like uh, let uh, you know i should i really go to usa sitting at airport you know i had flight within next one hour and i was at the airport i mean i was thinking should i go should i not go should i just stay here just tear the ticket but dude I, I can now say that if i had to go back in time i would have you, you know motivated uh, myself that yes come to usa because the career i had is insane so that was uh, my story guys uh, i had a very good time i am having a very good time here so if you are someone if you are an international student uh, or if you are about to become an international student i really motivate you i know there are a lot of struggles but as people say after every dark there comes a light so you have to go through the dark to get the light right so so i'm sure that you'll have a great career when you come to usa and this is just to motivate you that uh, please you know make sure that i know that there will be struggle but you will go through that and you'll have a great career out of it so thank you guys uh, thank you for listening up uh, listening to me and i wish you all the very best for your applications all the best